I'm actually supposed to break till eight, but since I found the other video, this is too important to pass up. Too important to risk missing my deadline, which is 12. So I'm glad I went my way to make the deadline. Um, well, in the last video, you see me coming in, and people are starting to look at me. Starting to wonder, hey, what's this guy doing? This big old plank, you know? See, why is he putting on his gloves? He a construction worker or something? And then, um, you know, a lot, a lot of kids were getting out of school. I chose that time so I could sh blend right into the, you know, typical college, college kind of car, or whatever. A lot of Asian kids on the west, whatever. So I was out that motherfucker from black revolutionary to dark skinned Asian undercover. And they couldn't tell what what race I was. And then uh, I put it down. A lot, a lot of these motherfuckers are uh, getting punked, like. Basically, you know what I'm saying, I'm a real one, and I really put it down. And these fools in the street really don't want to see me about nothing, bunch of pussies. You know what I'm saying? Um, young Mecca, I'm the champ. They're just a bunch of little girls, so quit, quit fooling yourselves. All these midgets at yeah, the place, they want to see me about nothing either. I'm not going to say what place, but, you know, it's not about how tall you are and how tough you are and all that this, you know. It's about whether God allows you to win or not. You know what I'm saying? That's how I see it. So, you know, being tough helps, of course, but, you know. Well, anyway, I was just explaining that, you know, how I, I, you know, I was just getting in. Um, when I, I end up going there, right, there's like a garbage can. I don't know if you can see one of the videos. There's like a garbage can at the end of the sidewalk. You know, on the same, kind of sit by, like, kind of parallel to, um, that, that cop car, so I go over there and I put the sign right in the trash. Ching. You see the sign facing right toward the people. And a bunch of cops pull up the sign, they wait till I leave, and they probably remove the sign after I leave because they want they want to cause a scene. And you know, I put it down. They even had a fucking like a, a red pickup truck roll up. I think the purpose of that was that they were gonna take the sign in. Um, as evidence, some as evidence of a of a demonstration or something, I don't fucking know. It's the FBI on my nuts, you know, I do it, man, come red. Straight up. Um, you know we do it, man, you know, like they do it like this, and they do it like this, and some do it like this. You know what I'm saying, I'm young make them. So, you know what I'm saying, I do it after a while, but when it comes to being a revolutionary, so that's what it's about, man. Don't You don't have to go catch a fake. I, I go to my enemies' hoods, man. I didn't go to any black neighborhoods. Today was about the black people, man. Today was about the black people. I went to all the enemies of the black neighborhood. Drove by the scrapper hood. They didn't want none. Went to the Nortenio hood that I had funk with. Not not to the ones that I got love for. Like, you know what I'm saying? Frisco and whatnot. And Hayward and, you know, Oakland. You know, I went to the ones I got funk with. You know what I'm saying? Small town, nobodies. I said, nigga, you's a buster. Get their hood. You know what I'm saying? We're just doing it like, you know, seeing a real Ebo soldier just putting it down. You know what I'm saying? I clean up the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? We used to, I used to be friends with motherfuckers, a lot of the motherfuckers too, but they're all weak. They're all like pumping weights trying to get bigger. But they're all much. I'm not even get it to them. But, uh, so I, you know, we talked about a lot of these, uh, it's 144,000, 12,000 from each tribe. You know what I'm saying? And. We talked about a lot of interesting stuff. We talked about how my uncle was close to me when I was younger. And how it's the food. You know, they're trying to control your mind. That's why she came out mugging. Like, she's like, how dare you stand up to me? I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, display my power. You know, they're, they're trying to use this as a deterrent. Like, I'm going to, duh, duh, Yeah, right. Deterrent my ass. That was a trap. They want to take me down, you know what I'm saying? And they knew I was too smooth, and they didn't really have a charge. Because when I was going away, they had a split-second decision to make. If we're going to take them down, what are we going to charge them with? You know what I'm saying? At the same time, I made just enough contact to the eye. You know what I'm saying? They felt me. They knew what I'm talking about. They knew that, hey, you know what I'm saying? I'm a real one. You know what I'm saying? And that, you know what I'm saying? You can't just take away the rights of a real one. Because we will, you know what I'm saying, complain and go through the proper channels. And, you know, do what revolutionaries do as well. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? I had my little peaceful protest and had my little victory. You know, I could smile for once in a long time. I actually feel like she gave we we done did it. You know what I'm saying? We did it. We beat the white man today. You know what I mean? If it's just for one battle, it's just one day. 